fabric transfer paper. Today we're going to be testing them out. We have the light fabric one and the dark fabric one. The great thing about this is you don't need any extra crazy supplies. You can just use your inkjet printer, no sublimation printer needed, all of that crazy stuff. So you can kind of get those effects of a sublimation design, those gorgeous colorful things while using this type of transfer paper. Essentially, it's like printable heat transfer vinyl. So we're going to be using our heat press. You can also use a regular iron. And we're going to be doing two versions today because they are actually a little bit different of a process. The finished product is very different and the materials you can put it on. So let's get into it. Let me know in the comments, have you tried printable vinyl before and what did you think about it? The first thing we're going to do is pull in our sublimation print that I just took off of Creative Fabrica. You can use absolutely any image you want for this. I'm just going to go ahead and choose the ones that I'm wanting to do, and that one's super cute. So let's add both of those in. And one of these is going to be for the dark fabric and then the other one for the light. So let's decide. Okay, so what I wanna do is create an offset behind it. I want it to have a solid white background. I just think that would look really cute. So we're going to go ahead and create some type of little offset. Apply. Perfect. Let's center this, align and center. Perfect. So we're going to leave that like so and we're going to flatten it to combine it into one image and we're going to shrink it down, I think just a little bit. We're going to do the same thing over here, create a little offset. I'm going to make it a little smaller, I think. Really cute. Okay, perfect. So we're going to go ahead and center and then flatten. So now we have our two print and cut images that are ready to go. And this one, perfect, awesome. So for one of them, we're going to be doing it on a light fabric transfer paper. And then on the other one, we're going to be doing it on the dark one to see how that ends up looking. So for the light one, we're going to go in and do the pumpkin season. So what I want to do is press make it. Perfect, they're on separate ones. So the first one we have to mirror. Okay, so for the dark fabric transfer paper, it says do not mirror. So we're gonna actually turn off mirror. And then for the light fabric one, it tells us to mirror. So that's really interesting. I guess we'll see how it's actually applied differently. So what we're going to do is not mirror that one. We're going to select continue. I need to set up my printer. Let me go plug in my printer. So I'm going to load in the paper exactly how I would regular printer. This is obviously the back. We're going to put it in this way. I'm going to select the printer, which is actually going to be my Epson EcoTank 2760. We're going to turn the bleed off, just my personal preference, and print. Let's see what happens with this one. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at how gorgeous this is. Okay, I have my Cricut mat here and I'm just going to place this over top. You can also cut it out with a pair of scissors, but I prefer to cut it out with my Cricut mat. I'm going to stick it on there really easily. Move my Cricut forward. Okay, we're gonna let it find its little registration marks. Love your mat. So cute. I'm going to move my Cricut out of the way. Flip it over and pull it away from me. And let's see. I feel like the settings that I selected weren't really the best. <laughs> because I put in printable vinyl, but it just kind of didn't go all the way through. So I'm just going to cut around with a pair of scissors. I think the settings I should have put on my Cricut were a little bit different than printable vinyl, but that's okay. Definitely would have been cuter if I put the proper settings and cut it out properly, but that's okay. This part is the fun part with all the letters. Thank goodness I decided to do an offset. Could you imagine me having to try to cut this entire decal out by hand? <laughs> that would have been fun, hey? So we're going to set that to the side and then we're going to do the light fabric Whoa. next, which is, we're making sure we're mirroring our image, right? 
With the light fabric transfer paper, make sure that you turn mirror on. You want it to be mirrored and then I'm going to press done. I did try cutting it out on printable vinyl and it did not do it really well all the way through. So we're going to try more on my pressure and see if that helps. And then I'm going to send to printer. So what I need to do is load my printer paper like I normally would. You can clearly see the back side, so just load it as regular printer paper. I am turning bleed off, personal preference, selecting the printer that I'm using, and printing. So cute! Okay, I'm so excited. It's so pretty! Put it on our Cricut mat. You can also cut this out by hand if you would like to with just scissors, but it's just a whole lot easier for me to use my Cricut. And I'm ready to load my mat. Before I it up yeah it actually went all the way through so that's perfect we can unload it ready to do this transfer as well i'm going to be using my five in one heat press and if you want to learn a little bit more about that let me know in the comments i have some tiktok videos showing you exactly how to use this because a lot of you also have this press and we're asking about it because it comes with zero instructions thanks amazon so for reference i have it set to 25 seconds and it's heating up to 365 degrees fahrenheit 185 degrees celsius so we're letting that heat up. You can also use an iron if you need to, just make sure it's on the highest temperature mode and off the steam mode. And you need a hard surface underneath, some type of heat resistant surface, like a cloth or pad, a pillowcase to lay on it. Amazing, so it came with a little silicone paper to protect our design and our fabric and my press. So let's get started. I have my heat press ready. I'm going to go ahead and do a little pre-press while it's heating up and just get that fabric ready to go. Now taking my design and we're just going to peel off the backing. It's so thin, so be really careful as you're peeling it up. It kind of feels like one of those window clings that you would use. Okay, so now I have the backing removed. I'm going to line it up on the shirt where I'm wanting it to be. I want it about there. I'm going to take my little protective sheet and this is why we did not mirror the dark fabric transfer paper because it's actually going on this way whereas the light one we did have to mirror and you'll see why it does get applied differently. We're going to put the sheet over top to protect it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead, put it over top and close it. Start the timer. I don't even need to hold on to it. I just always do that out of habit, but you don't need to. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare my next one. And again, if you were using an iron or a Cricut Easy Press, that will work as well. So you don't have to have one of these fancy heat presses. Let's lift and see what it looks like. I do feel like I want to press it a little longer. So we're going to go ahead and put it back down for a little bit. I don't need to remove anything because we already removed that little sheet. This is what it looks like. We're going to let it fully cool down and then come back and take a look after. In the meantime, let's do the next one. Let's see. Wow, that one pressed really nicely on the dark fabric. Wow, that looks amazing. I love it. Perfect. I have to be at the kids' school in 10 minutes, y'all. <laughs> like their school ends in 10 minutes and I'm still here. Okay, come on, hurry up. I just don't wanna have to turn on my press again later because it's too hot. It's hot out, okay? So we're heating it up, doing a little pre-press, bada bing, bada boom. This one, we don't peel anything. We mirrored the image, flip that baby over. I'm putting the protective sheet on and bam. We're pressing it. Where's my other shirt? Perfect. And then let's take a peek. This one you have to let cool all the way. So I just want to make sure it actually did transfer. Okay, yeah, it did. Move ah, that's hot. This out of the way. And put this last one. So the difference between the light and the dark, the dark one, remember, we did not mirror the image. And that's because we just removed the backing. Yes, the shirt's a little dirty, it's okay. We just removed the backing. But this one, we keep the backing on instead of peeling it away. And then instead, we mirror the image because we're keeping the backing on, so we're flipping it upside down. Whereas, remember the dark one, we had it like this with over top because we peeled it. 
So that is the difference between the two. Make sure you read the back and double check because if I didn't double check both of them, I would have had no idea. And once this one's fully cooled down, we peel it. Whereas the dark one, we just, when we're done, we just remove the little silicone kind of parchment paper and we're done. So there's that. I really need to get going. Hopefully I can quickly finish this and then head on out of there. Honestly, it's actually pretty cool down so we can just peel it up. It says to pinch the clothing a little bit and peel away. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Wow, I'm really impressed with how this came out. It, it kind of comes out like a really dull, pretty color. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Perfect. I'm going to make all my shirts with this. I think my favorite out of the two is the light colored one because it just looks a lot more professional, I feel like, the, the final look. I'm going to peel this all up and then I'll show you what it looks like. Here are my final thoughts on the light fabric and dark fabric transfer paper that we just did. So a couple things I want to note. I did it for the light fabric one on this very pink shirt and so I considered this to be a light color fabric. But I would suggest you either do a white shirt or like a very light gray because the color of the print kind of got muted by the shirt. I created a white offset and it kind of turned into a transparent one. So I would say this is more like sublimation in a way where it doesn't really take the white, for example. It's not essentially printing out white. And I'll show you an example of, again, another light one, but on a very light color shirt, you see, the white offset just kind of becomes part of the shirt. It ended up super cute and I really like how this one turned out. So I would suggest going with a very light color shirt. And even though this is a light color, the shade of it isn't very light. So it just kind of muted it. And that's what I learned about the light color one. Now for the dark ones, these turned out beautifully, but the offset, I did the exact same offset for both of these, the light and the dark. The light one, it kind of blended in. This one, it's very vibrant and the white offset you can see, which is fine. You don't have to make an offset. I just chose to. And then here is the other one and it turned out really cute. So I would say these definitely, this could be cute for like a little birthday or just something you're making for someone. But I feel like overall, the light fabric ones look a lot more professional and as if it's part of the shirt compared to this because even though they have the exact same white offset, for some reason with the light fabric, it kind of becomes part of the shirt. It doesn't show the big white background like this one does, even though they're the exact same. It's just one was done on the light fabric paper and one was done on the dark fabric paper. So kind of interesting to see the difference. And I really like it. I think I'm going to start selling some things, maybe some birthday shirts or something with this. So I'm excited to try the other goodies and I will definitely be getting this again because I love how this turned out. Like this is such a stunning print and the colors are gorgeous. I'm such a fan.